Hello students, from this video I am starting part 3 of data structure subject that is linked list which is also an example of linear data structure. Linked list removes all the drawbacks of array. As we saw in last videos, there are various drawbacks of array like there should be a contiguous memory allocation in array, you should know the size of array in advance. Insertion and deletion operations are time consuming in array. To remove these drawbacks, we have to use linked list. As we know that array is a collection of similar type data element. Here a linked list is a collection of similar type nodes. That means here in linked list, there is a collection of nodes which contains data and link field. Data store element or data value that you want to store in linked list data structure and link store address of next node. In linked list, node contains single or double pointers. If the node in linked list contains single pointer, then it is called as singly linked list. If the node contains two pointers, then it is called as doubly linked list. If the node contains two pointers, then it stores the address of two nodes. One store address of previous node and one pointer store address of next node. So linked list is a collection of similar type nodes. Linked list is also called as linear list because all nodes are linked together in some sequential manner. Why we call linked list as a linear? Because here also nodes are linked together in some sequential manner. Here you can see this is an example of singly linked list where each node contain a value and address of next node. Here 500 is the address of this node and 100 is the address of this node. As in linked list, there is non-contiguous memory allocation. The memory allocated to data elements are different, not in contiguous nature as we saw in array. So to make the list linear, linear means we know the sequential order of data elements. To make li list linear, here data is associated with address of next node in singly linked list. From this linked list, we know that after 10, there will be a number 20 and after 20, there will be a number 30. And after 30, there is no data element in linked data structure. So, in link part or address part of this node contains null. Null represents end of link list. So in link list all the nodes are linked together in some sequential manner. By storing address of next node, nodes are linked together. So that we can know the order of storage or access from link list data structure. Link list contains two fields, data field it is used to store actual value. One or two link or pointer field used to store address of another node. So in linked list, there may be one or two pointers that can store address of next node and previous node. To create this node which contains data field and, and link field, we have to use structure as there is no this type of data type is present in C and C++. So structures are used to create user defined data types. So we have to write struct then name of structure is node int data node star link semicolon then curly braces close and write semicolon after closing curly braces. Here link is the pointer which is store address of next node. So the data type of this pointer is node type that means this type this is the self referencing structure in linked list memory allocated to nodes are at runtime that means there is dynamic memory allocation in linked list while in array we saw there is static memory allocation to allocate memory to node at runtime we have to write p equals to new node in C++ we use new operator for dynamic memory allocation and in C we use malloc and calloc functions to allocate memory at runtime. Because by using a structure we are creating a user defined data type which is, all, which is not already defined in C and C++. By writing p equals to new node we are creating a node 
in memory and the memory allocated to this node will be assigned to p pointer if i want to store value in data part of this node i have to write p arrow data equals to 10 and to store address in link part of the node i have to write p arrow link equals to address of next node in this way we create nodes in singly linked list because here there is one pointer so you can create by using this statement any number of nodes that you want to create in linked list data structure because here there is runtime memory allocation so this is an example of singly linked list where the address of this node if the address of this node is 700 will be stored in start pointer and if there is no node in linked list start start contains null if start equals to null that means singly linked list is empty otherwise start contains the address of first node of the linked list from start we know the first node of the linked list and from this node we will get the second node because 500 is the address of this node and after accessing 20 we know the address of next node that is 100 from this address we will access 30 and there is no node after 30 so the link pointer contains null value in next video we will learn advantages and disadvantages of linked list thank you